Hi guys, it's Corrine. Thanks again for stopping by. I previously did a flip through of this album and the pages, I had promised a tutorial on how I made these pages. So I'm here today just to share with you a quick tutorial of how this album comes together and how I made the specific pages. I am not going through an entire tutorial on how to make a mini album because I do have a very detailed video that I will link below showing the concept of how to make a mini album in any size. This one is 10 by eight and a half by almost four. Yeah, 10 by eight and a half by almost four. So the inside pages are eight by nine and three quarters. So that's the measurements I'm gonna show you today um, on how to do this. So here is what the blank pages look like. I'm hoping, I'm gonna walk you through all this, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see it well. So we have each, we have six of these in that book. Um, so here's the flip out page that's also a pocket. Okay, that'll hold large four by six journaling cards, whatever you want. Here is the side flip out page, and that held four by four photos, four, four and an eighth, or you could do four and a quarter by four and a quarter photo mats that will leave a little border for a four by four photo on this side and this side. And then when you open it up, there's a pocket here. I know it's hard, the white on white, but there's a pocket here. And then there's a flip out journaling mat that you can add four by six photos to. Okay, and then when you close it up, you're still gonna have a side mat for a pullout. Then you turn the page over and you're gonna have the exact same design. So let me pull the album back in and show you again. Okay, so when you open this up, here's that side flip. Okay, so that's gonna be this right here. And like I mentioned, it's a pocket, so it'll hold some journaling cards. Then we have this side flip that will hold four by four photos on both sides. And that's right here. And then when you open it up, here's the pocket I was talking about and the pullout mat. Here's the pullout mat. I have other stuff in this page as well, but here's this flip open that I designed with paper and then photo mats that'll hold a four by six photo leaving a nice little orange border. And that's gonna be this here that goes inside the pocket. So again, what I'm showing you today is the main pocket and we have one on either side. So this side, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Flip open, you got your pullout mat. So to get started, let me show you first what you're going to need. And then we can walk through putting one together as well. Let's start with, let's start with the main page pocket. So this is eight by 11. And on the 11 inch side, you're gonna score it at five eighths of an inch. Flip it all the way around and score it five eighths of an inch. I like to do five eighths. You can adjust your sizes to do one half inch if you prefer. Also, you can do all this with 12 by 12 paper. I just always have a ton of eight and a half by 11 paper on hand, so I like to use that up. Um, so I always make my measurements using eight and a half by 11. So again, eight by 11, five eighths scored on the 11 inch side on one side and on the other side. And then you're gonna need a back side of this and that's gonna allow for the side pullout mat, which let me show you that real quick. So when you open your album up, you have a place for a side pullout mat here. So I'm going to show you how to make the main page to allow for that pocket on the side as well. Okay, so back to our main page. When we score on the 5 8 inch on both sides, you want to slightly miter the corner. It's just going to make for a nicer fold. I just slightly cut from where the score line is out. I did that on all four corners. And then we're going to glue it to the back side of our main page. 
The back side of our main page is eight inches. It's gonna be the exact same width of our main page. And it's gonna be nine and three quarters. That's gonna be the finished size of our page, nine and three quarters inch tall. You can adjust this to any way that you want. So let's quickly put some of this together. I'm gonna to just use wet glue and do a real quick job. You're gonna to wanna to do a much better job on this. But for time's sake, I'm just gonna quickly do this, match up my corners. And again, I have a very detailed video on how to make a mini album. If you've never made one, check that out. It walks you through the concept. So you can make any size mini album. Once you understand the concept of it, you can simply adjust your measurements. So I'm gonna add glue to my flap here. Flip that over. You can use uh, tape if you prefer tape. I like to use wet glue on this. Even though I am doing this quickly for the video, I take my time and get all the corners. But um, I do like to use wet glue because it gives you a moment to kind of move it around and adjust if you didn't get it perfectly straight. So again, this is going to be our main page. Okay, and now you can see this is where it's going to allow one side for a pocket, for a pullout mat, the other side to adhere onto our hinge of our book. Okay, the next thing we're going to need this is going to be the flip open page to go inside of the album to fit inside of the pocket. So as I showed here, this is what's going to fit in our pocket. This needs to be seven and a half by nine inches. We're going to score on the seven and a half inch side. We're going to score at one half inch and we're going to miter those corners like we did. Just makes for a nicer fold. The back side of it or the other side of it is going to be seven by nine. So seven and a half by nine scored at a half inch and seven by nine. We're going to fold on that half inch score, give it a crease, add our glue to the tab. This is just allowing for a larger, more photos, four by six photos. And then we're just going to line that up and glue it down. Again, when I make my albums, I really take my time with this adhere it well. I do use wet glue as I just mentioned just so I can move it around. But if you prefer score tape then that works as well. Okay so now we have our little flip out book for um, we can add pattern paper to these and then photo mats so they hold the four by six photos. Okay next thing we're going to need is the left side flip page. That's going to be this page here. This is going to hold four by four photos. So this needs to be cut the same height of our page, which is nine and three quarters. And we're going to do five and a half and score on a half inch. So when it's done, it's going to be five by nine and three quarters, mitering the corners again. Give it a good crease. We'll wait and put the, this on the book in a, in a few, but that's we're going to need that for the side flip. Then we're also going to need a pocket for the main page. So when you open it up, we have this pocket here that holds our flip out book. Okay, so that pocket is going to be nine by five. And I scored it at one half inch on three sides. So again, nine by five scored at one half inch, one half inch, one half inch. And then I'm also mitering out those corners again to give it a nice fold once we fold it. So let me fold on those. And when you score down, when you put it in your scoreboard like this, and you score on it, okay, you want to fold into that score line. So you're going to have a slight bump there. want to score in you want to fold into that bump that you created when you scored on it that's going to give you a nicer crease and help reduce cracking there's only one time that we don't score along that and I'll show you in just a moment but general rule you want to score on that okay and so now we folded it and we're going to adhere that down to our main page I'll show you that in a moment and then lastly we have this little pocket that's going to hold four by six journaling cards or whatever we'd like and it's going to flip open on the right. So for that you're going to need a piece of paper of 11 inches by six and a half inches tall. On the 11 inch side you want to put it in your scoreboard on the 11 inch side you're going to score it at one half inch, five and a half inches, 
10 and a half inches. Then you're going to rotate it and score it at one and a half inches. So again, that's 11 by six and a half, scored at one half inch, five and a half inches, 10 and a half inches, rotate once and score it at a half inch. Then we need to miter those corners. So we're just gonna cut right from the score slightly out. Just take a tiny bit off. And then the corners here, I'm gonna take off because we're turning this into a pocket. That's why I marked my pen here. I'm gonna cut that off. And then I like to flip over and see it from this way. I'm gonna miter that corner. Okay, so we've mitered the two corners here and the two corners here. Now, because we're gonna be folding this into a pocket, we wanna cut this out slightly. So I'm gonna just give it a little angle here. And then we're gonna cut this entire bottom tab off. That way it gives it a nice fold. I cannot cut a straight line to save my life, so I'm going to use a ruler. I'm using my Tim Holtz ruler here and my craft knife. And I marked on it, so it's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna try and get it decently straight for the video. We're gonna cut this tab out. Okay, let me put this away. And so now as you can see here, sorry about the black marker, but we have one of the tabs cut out and that's gonna make for a nicer fold. So on the majority of this, I'm gonna fold into that bump like I mentioned. I'm gonna score over on the half inch and then score, press it down on the middle and then I'm gonna fold in this bottom one. Okay, and then this is going to attach to our page so we're actually gonna fold this one backwards. Hopefully this all makes sense once we put it together. But I do wanna go ahead and form my pocket so I'll quickly do so by gluing down these tabs. very quickly for the video. Do not put any glue on this last tab. Press that down, make sure it's adhered well. And that's gonna give us our little pocket here. But it's closed at the bottom, that's why we did that bottom tab. Okay, so now to quickly put this all together. The first thing I like to do is put my main pocket page together, which we've done. The second thing I like to do is adhere my pocket on because then it's gonna allow for the bulk when we glue the other stuff on. So go ahead and add glue to your three tabs that you've created. And you're gonna do the same thing to the very back side of this page as well. So you have one for every month of the baby's first year. So just kinda eyeball that, get it down to the bottom there, match it up. And that's why the wet glue is good. It gives you a moment to kind of move it around. So I'm attaching my pocket here. Okay, that still leaves this open for the hinge and then this side open for a side pullout mat. So, and then this will just simply go in the pocket when we're done. So I'll set that aside for right now. I'm gonna next adhere my left flip out page adding adhesive just to the bottom of this. And you don't wanna to go too crazy on the adhesive down here, the glue, because it can seep out and make a mess. And just kind of, the reason we mitered those corners is it'll tuck in nicely here. Just kind of tuck it in the side there, bring it over and press it down. Okay, now that's gonna give us our side flip out. Exact same thing that we're gonna do on this right side, this one, that's that tab left open so we can add our adhesive. And we're gonna glue it right to the top of this opening on the right. Slide it in there. Let me get this out of the way. And then I like to kind of push it up to the bottom and then fold it over and then give it another crease with my bone folder on the side here because it has a little bulk. So I'm kind of pressing that down and then press down where I have the glue making sure it's butted up against the edge of my paper. And now we have our two flips here. We would do the exact same to the back and it still leaves this side pocket open for our pull-out mat and it still leaves this side open because we adhered the glue only to the one side. It leaves that open for a hinge. 
and then when you open it up you can put your fold out here now I added magnets um, to my pages just to help so it didn't sit like this it kept it closed so if you're gonna add a magnet you're gonna want to add it because you're gonna be putting pattern paper over this to cover your magnet so I added a round magnet here and then I added a magnet I matched it up and added a magnet to the pocket where it matches up of course so that way it keeps this left flap pulled down when it sticks together okay and again you're going to do the same thing put your pages together all together before adhering them to your hinge it's going to make it easier i did not put my pattern paper in until i had all my blank book together then i went back and added my pattern paper to all of this it's it's preference whatever you choose to do whatever you prefer to do one last thing that I'd like to show you that I did a little differently on my hinge if you don't know how to make a hinge for your book check out my mini album video I do go into great detail with it but I do want to quickly touch on it because I did something a little different that I've never seen before I've never done before but these pages when they are done just the the um, cardstock alone is pretty heavy and then I'm adding pattern paper to it and then another pattern paper so each page was pretty heavy that album I made is actually pretty heavy it's very sturdy so I decided I wanted to do something a little different with the hinge and it's so far it seems to be working out really well what I did is I gave myself one half inch gusset so if you know if you don't like let me please repeat myself if you don't know how to make a hinge please go back and check out my mini album video showing how to make the base of a mini album. I'll go into much more detail on that. But if you do already know how to make a hinge, I just want to show you what I did a little different with this album. I gave myself a half inch gusset. So I, I did one eighth inch shorter than my page. My page is nine and three quarters. So your hinge, you always want to do one half inch so it can slide. Your pages can slide on your hinge. So this hinge was cut to nine and five eighths. And then I, I make it for whatever length I need. I use a 12 by 12 paper for my hinge because I need it longer than an eight and a half inch wide paper. So you want to make it the length of whatever, however many pages you're making. So I didn't put the length. That's going to be up to you on, on what kind of album you're making. But I did do a half inch gusset. So I scored every half inch, every half inch going down. And then normally what you would do is fold over on the half inch and adhere that down. Let me fold it back this way to see. So you would adhere that down. This would give you your hinge for your page and then your gusset. And then you would fold the next two for your next hinge, leave a gusset. This is your hinge that it's your page is gonna sit on, correct? Okay, so that's what's gonna be there. What I did differently is I gave myself a double hinge just to strengthen it. So I actually am gluing four hinges, four of the one half inches together and doubling up on them. I hope this makes sense. If you've made a hinge before, you, this should make perfect sense to you. Normally you only do two half inches, leave yourself a gusset. gusset. Two half inches glued together, leaving yourself a gusset. Two one half inches together, leaving yourself a gusset. In this case for this book, because the pages are so heavy, I did four one half inches and I glued them together. So I, for this, I do use score tape. I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I glued the two half inches together and then the other two together, not leaving a gusset in the middle and then adhering those two together. I should have probably used tape for this to make it quicker for the video. And then, again, I did use score tape for those. I don't like to use wet glue on my hinges because it's immediate. So that gives me two hinges that gives me a little more bulk to hold these heavy pages with. Now I would leave myself a half inch gusset and start over and allow four of these to go together to double up my hinge to give it a little bit of strength. 
So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I did add magnets to mine. I added it to the pocket, not this page, because I didn't want it to sit up like this. I wanted it to press this page down and um, do the exact same thing to the back side as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment and also leave me any questions you have in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Have a great day and check out the description box below for that mini album tutorial if you've never made one before. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Thank you.